This is an AQA A-level question from paper three, and this is related to required practical assessment. This is specifically related to RPA4. As always, I'm going to recommend that you pause, have a read of the question, have a go for yourself, and then review the answer when you're ready to see how well you've done. So it is a six marker. Uh, let's take a look at it. We've got separate unlabeled solid samples of three anhydrous sodium compounds provided for a student to identify. These compounds are known to be sodium carbonate, sodium fluoride and sodium chloride, but we don't know which sample is which. Outline a logical sequence of test tube reactions that the student could carry out to identify each of these compounds. Give the observations and include state symbols for any reactions that would take place. So in terms of the reactions themselves or how we mark this, always on a six marker, you're going to break it down into three stages. And to get um, to get five or six marks, level three, you need all three stages to be virtually complete, etc. Now, we're going to take a look at what those three stages are. Stage one is related to what tests we're going to carry out. So a proposed route through here is that we could add a named acid to all three. Now specify what that acid is. You're going to see in a moment that I've used HCl. Then you can add water to make a solution. And then you can add silver nitrate. So you would need to work through those key areas to be virtually complete on this section. Stage two of this question is then looking at what we would observe. So if I added the acid to Na2CO3, because that's a metal carbonate, I am going to get effervescence. So that would immediately identify which of them is Na2CO3. And that leaves me to work out which is NaCl and which is NaF. But because we added the silver nitrate, I know that I'm going to get a white precipitate of um, N of AgCl when I add AgNO3, but I know that NaF is not going to give me a precipitate. It will remain as a colourless solution. There will be no visible change. And if you get that down, you've got stage two done. For stage three, we need the equations. So you need to be confident and comfortable writing an equation between a metal carbonate and an acid, as you can see here. And similarly, you need to be able to show how the solid silver halide precipitates are formed when we add AgNO3. To complete this, you did need state symbols as well. I've put those in, but take note, this actually, NaCl, we're told we're starting with a solid, so you need to make sure that you have the S there for that to be complete. That takes us to the end of this question. Thank you for listening and goodbye.